before I put the video, guys, make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna put the exoplanet video. Well, see y'all. My name is J1407B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star, and we can all agree its name is V1400 Centauri. In 2012, when I was discovered by Eric Mamajek at the University of Rochester, I earned the name of Super Saturn because of my massive system of circumplanetary rings for sure. 90 million kilometers is the radius of my rings. That's about 200 times the size of Saturn's rings, which makes me the king. When I orbit my sun, it takes about a decade, which is estimated at about 3,725 days. I'm within the constellation of Centaurus. It's about 434 light years from the Earth, but I don't fuss. No one knows if I'm a gas giant or a brown dwarf with rings. I'm sure you'll find out more about me while I do my thing. There's a gap in my rings, which probably means one thing. It may have been made by an exomoon of mine about this I do sing. I also have a Another name when I show you, you will see it is 1S Wasp J147B. My name is J1407B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star, and we can all agree its name is V1400 Centauri. My name is j 147 B, that's me. I have a ring system bigger than Saturn, you see. I orbit a young star, and we can all agree. Its name is V1400 Centauri. My name is TOI 700D, an exoplanet outside the solar system I be. My name is TOI 700D, 101.4 light years away from Earth. Let's learn about me. I was discovered in January in the year of 2020 by Emily Gilbert while studying astronomy i'm an exoplanet 101.4 light years away from earth in the dorado constellation that's where i play i'm the first earth-sized planet orbiting my host star toi 700 a red dwarf we know this so far i orbit my star in its habitable zone maybe there's a presence of liquid water on my surface shown my star is 40% the mass of your sun and 55% of its temperature. These facts are so fun. I'm one of three exoplanets detected by TESS to be orbiting the host star TOI 700. We don't rest. Our names are TOI 700 B and C and TOI 700 D. You guessed it, that is me. All three exoplanets may be tidally locked. I do sing, which means the same faces towards the audience. Object we are orbiting. I was discovered by test to see planets out of sight called the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite. Test was designed and launched specifically to find Earth sized planets orbiting nearby stars like me. Scientists confirmed the find called TOI 700D with NASA Spitzer Space Telescope independently. TOI is short for Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite Object of Interest. It's so long to say. NASA's on the hunt for more Earth sized planets, but for now you have me. I'm sure there's more. 
anymore to find yet. You could become an astronomer, a job that's out of this world. You can be anything you want, whether you're a boy or a girl. My name is TOI 700D, an exoplanet outside the solar system. I be. My name is TOI 700D, 101.4 light years away from Earth. Let's learn about me. Search the kids learn oh, Kepler 37 I'm an extrasolar planet called Kepler 37B Orbiting Kepler 37 That's my host star you see I was discovered in the month of February in 2013 Now let's learn more about me My discovery site is Kepler Space Observatory On the 20th in the month of February Kepler Space Telescope did make my discovery Along with two other planets, Kepler 37, C and D To date I am the smallest planet discovered around a mid-sequence star Outside the solar system I am found I have a radius slightly bigger than your moon But I'm slightly smaller than Mercury You've learned this in this tune I'm classified as an exoplanet, also a sub-Earth This means that I'm substantially less massive than Venus and Earth I'm an extrasolar planet called Kepler 37b Orbiting Kepler 37, that's my host star you see I was discovered in the month of February in 2013 Now let's learn more about me I do have a diameter of 2400 miles I'm likely a rocky planet with a solid surface though I have a surface temperature around 700 K The K does mean Kelvin in the international system of units today I orbit my G star, it's called Kepler 37 Here it's similar to your sun as you can see when it did appear I orbit my parent star at 9.3 million miles away With an orbital period every 13 days If you're looking for me in the dark of the night sky Constellation Lyra, please stop by. I'm an extrasolar planet called Kepler 37b, orbiting Kepler 37. That's my host star, you see. I was discovered in the month of February in 2013. Now let's learn more about me. I'm an extrasolar planet called Kepler 37b, orbiting Kepler 37. That's my host star, you see. I was discovered in the month of February in 2013. Now let's learn more about me. My name is Kepler 452B, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun like star like yours at home. Let's see. Where am I? I'm 1,402 light years away from the solar system your Earth does play. I was discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope on July 23rd, 2015 by NASA with hope. Though a study in 2018 by Fergal Mullally, I have not been proven to exist statistically. But if I do exist, I would be potentially the first rocky super-Earth planet you will if life did exist on me, it would be because of my orbit around my sun-like star. That would be the cause. I orbit in a place called the Goldilocks Zone. That's a habitable zone of sun-like stars I do roam. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun-like star like yours at home. I have a probable mass five times that of the Earth. Though that's a rough estimate from astronomers, of course. I probably have many actual...
fact of volcanoes Due to my higher mass and density Compared to the Earth you call home I have an orbit of 385 days Which is 20 more days than your Earth's year I can say The star that I orbit is called Kepler 452 It's the Earth-like star that I orbit This is true Maybe someday you can visit me and make history But for now I'm known as a rocky super Earth That's what I be My name is Kepler 452B Also known as Earth 2.0 yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun-like star like yours at home. My name is Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0. Yeah, that's me. I may support life within the Goldilocks zone while orbiting a sun-like star like yours at home. My name is T-R-E-S dash 2B. I'm a gas giant too far away to see. I'm the darkest exoplanet ever identified. I'm a bit bigger than Jupiter, I'll describe. With the discovery date of August 21st in 2006 is when they noticed me at first. I was confirmed a planet on September 8th in 2006 officially. My birthday, I was discovered by an astronomer named Francis T. O'Donovan. That is for sure. First seen on the Transatlantic Exoplanet Survey, or you can call it TRES. It's an acronym, I say. This all happened in California, you will see, at the famous Palomar Observatory. My discovery also took place at the Lowell Observatory, located in Arizona. Now, here's more about me. My name is T-R-E-S dash 2B. I'm a gas giant too far away to see. I'm the darkest exoplanet ever identified. I'm a bit bigger than Jupiter, I'll describe. GSC 03549-02811 is the star that I orbit and a long named one. My parent star is a yellow main sequence star similar to your sun. Just to keep you on par, I belong to a constellation in the far northern sky. Its name is Draco, which is Latin for dragon, I imply. I'm seven. Similar to Jupiter, you're super giant. I'm likely to be tidally locked to my parent star. I'm extremely dark and completely bizarre. My name is T-R-E-S dash 2B. I'm a gas giant too far away to see. I'm the darkest exoplanet ever identified. I'm a bit bigger than Jupiter, I'll describe. Orbit in a binary star system. 